We definitely have a bit of core damage. Definitely needed to come out. What a dusty mess. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark and this is Richard and we are rebuilding an unfinished Sea line SC35 boat. If you're new to our channel, please check out our other videos as this will help you understand progress on the project so far. We recently completed the full restoration of the head shower plug and produced a mould which we then used to produce a brand new shower floor moulding. We are now ready to fit the new shower moulding but first we need to address a partially damp and damaged deck core. During the week I had a few hours spare so I marked the suspected damaged areas with a marker pen and then started cutting out the damaged balsa core. Okay so here I'm just coming in with a multi-tool and the extractor and just cutting through the bottom skin and then through into the balsa so we can extract the balsa. I could have used a grinder but honestly they make so much dust in such a confined area and also be far too easy to go through the upper deck. You'll see what I mean by that later in the video. We definitely have a bit of core damage with the balsa. So you can see here that it's dark, actually it's still fully intact and um, same here as well. Again, pretty intact, but uh, all stained. And then down here and down here. And in fact, what you can see is there's a channel just in here. The camera picks it up, so it's like a channel, just a little gap. We'll see in the layup that it was able to just track down. So I think what was happening was leaking a pillar and tracking all the way down here, all the way down here. And then you can see we've got a bit of core damage at the bottom there as well, which again, that all needs fetching out. Dirty balsa has gone. We're down now to nice, clean balsa. So you can see here, nice and clean this is. So we have to take an extra piece out here just to get rid of uh, some of that stained balsa. Piece out here and then another piece out at the bottom. So we will need to come in now and just clean all this up with the grinder or the sander, but that's basically now we're good to, good to go. We've got good coal now, so we can just put new coal in that will remedy that problem hopefully and then we've also just got rid of the uh, ply here the last piece of ply that was here 
So I made a cut here, so there was already a joint there anyway, so just made a cut there, got rid of that. In fact, you can see it's on the floor here. Yeah, it's pretty manky. That definitely needed to come out. In fact, we think what's happened is it's the screws that are holding the side windows in place and these weren't sealed so it's just coming straight down into the into the ply but we can sort that we can put some uh, epoxy bungs in uh, use a sort of drill fill drill approach and um, that will then isolate the screws from the ply in the future and you shouldn't get that problem again so we can we can fix that that's absolutely fine Okay, so it is the next day and we managed to get uh, all of that bad core cut away, all of that bad balsa. So we're now back to good dry balsa. Ended up taking a little bit more out than we thought, but that's fine, not a problem. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put a moisture meter on the balsa at sort of set points and just make sure it is fully dry. And then what we're gonna do is come in and clean all this up now. So clean the underside, get rid of all of this gauze type material and get that nice and clean. And then we'll look to template some, we'll take some templates rather, and then we'll be able to cut the balsa core. Uh, the other thing that we did was uh, also just drilled some holes in this core here, just to make sure this is still nice and dry, and it is. And we also drilled some more holes over here and cored out a hole here. So this is one of the fixing points for the side screen. So we've cored that out. So what we'll be able to do now is fill that with epoxy and then re-drill it. And that effectively then isolates the uh, core from that hole in the future. So we should get no more core damage in the future. And in fact, we'll be doing that with all of those holes that fix that side screen on. And what we're also going to do is try and find the other ones. So what we'll do is we think there's another one here and another one a bit further back. So what we'll do is go outside, remove the screws, send a pilot through. So we've got a location, hopefully the drill will pop through and then we'll be able to come in with a 20 mil core bit, core that out and epoxy it and use the drill fill drill procedure to isolate the core from the outside world, just in case we do get any leaks. So, let's get straight into it. Overall, the readings were good. We're looking for anything less than 15, really, between 15 and 10 seems to be sort of fairly normal and a boat that's not been heated for a while. So we did just find a little bit of damp balsa just here. It wasn't too bad, but I think what we're gonna do is just make a cut down there and just get rid of it. It's just far easier. So we're gonna do that. And then what we're gonna do is just move this new molding out of the way, just clear the space over here. So we're gonna store that over there, keep that out of the way, get it covered up, and then we'll get this piece grinded out and all the clean up done.
So this is Richard's new air fed mask? Toy. New toy? Yeah, I'm going in with the air fed mask of joy. So where'd you get this? Where? Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. They were doing the cheapest price on it actually. It was about made... 50, 60 quid off. Is it? Is it made by? Trend. And it's a proper air fed, battery powered. Air fed, battery powered, no good for vapour, but. No. Reviews are all good for dust. Good for dust. So yeah. we'll see, won't we? Yeah. We'll see. It's quite heavy, but not ridiculously heavy. You wouldn't want to wear it for long periods. No. You wouldn't want it all day. But if we're using... But I might go shopping in it just for a giggle. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. Um, so we're using 40 grit. 40 grit. On the grinder, so that's going to kick up some dust, isn't it? Can't wait. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I've been putting off for You've a You've got week. a day of it. <laughs> I haven't. That'll be through it in half an hour. That's, that's the beauty of it. Yeah, me. but with an air-fed mask, you hopefully... You don't want that stuff in your lungs. I'm not really going to get... Anything? No. That's the theory anyway. We'll find out, yeah. With a bit of love. I might bang my head on the way in. I doubt it. <laughs> certainly got the job done so he's coming with the grinder and cleaned all of this down it looks really good now nice and clean also cleaned all the whole sides as well so along here and also under here so we'll be able to get a good bond with the new core material on here now so that's absolutely brilliant the only thing we need to do now is just put a chamfer on this uh, laminate here so that when we put the new laminate in it tapers so we've got about two millimetres of laminate here, so we'll be looking to apply 12 to one, so probably coming back about 25 millimetres or one inch. So we just need to grind that chamfer on. Unfortunately, we did have a bit of an accident um, just here. So grinder slipped and we've just got a little bit of light coming through there, but that's not a problem. It's just one of those things, these things happen. So what we'll do is we'll cut a section out of here 
and we'll patch that as well. And we can soon put that right. So all we need to do now is put that chamfer on. While Rich has been in there grinding, I've been out here and got most of this deck up. Uh, some of it was stuck down really well and then other parts were not stuck down at all. And we've just got this little bit here. What we did find, unfortunately, is at some point, some screws have been put in this deck. We're finding them all the way along the side here. Excuse the wind noise. If we just walk down here, probably can't find any now. They're pretty hard to spot but there's lots of small screws. Just felt one on the foot there. Yeah, so here we are. So we've got one just here. So we've got lots of these two there that are together. And there's lots of those all the way down the walkway. Another one just here. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame because that almost certainly means we may have some core damage if they've not been sealed properly, which I suspect they've not. Um, but that's fine, we'll deal with it. And then also here, you can just see a little nick in the gel coat where that grinder slipped. So it's just on the non-skid there. So what we're gonna do is glass that from underneath today so that we're watertight, and then we'll come in and do a proper gel repair on that. Okay, both deck sides are now up. Apologies for the wind noise. Yeah, so uh, that was not easy to get that up, but um, it's up now, so that's a good job done. And we've done the same this side as well. So both of those are up, just need cleaning now, and we need to get rid of the, the residue of the uh, adhesive, whatever they've used to stick that teak down. And I'll just show you inside the boat. And inside, Richard has just come in and put a nice chamfer on here. So from nothing back 25 millimeters so that we can now feather in the new laminate. So he's done that all the way down to the bow of the boat. And then he's also come in and just cleaned everything up because this uh, inside the boat was absolutely devastated. 
after getting the grinder out. So it's just given it a quick once over. Still needs a bit more of a clean, but it's certainly a lot better than it was. And then what we're gonna do now, final job of the day, is just to get this little repair done where we've accidentally gone through here. So uh, not a problem, we can sort that. So we've cut some patches and we'll get that repaired now. Anyway, so I've got you some more rollers. Look at that fat boy I got you. Fat roller for a fat boy. Fat boy roller, I don't know why, but... Uh, Thanks. Not, not <laughs> suggesting that you were fat or anything, I just thought it'd be a check, you know, might, might, be, might be better. Look at that nice bit of end grain balsa. Looks like we need. And another end grain balsa. So how much was this? Uh, this whole order, 109. Oh, that's not bad, is it? But, I mean, it might have even been that much. I don't know without checking the So that thing. was rollers, balsa? They're, they're 25 quid plus that each. Okay. And then, um, just some yeah, paint paint stirrers. Okay. Oh, cool. They're only about 10p, so just... why not treat yourself? Being as I have to do all the mixing. Spoil yourself. I do I did spoil myself. What? I can go with the rubbish. Oh you want the mad professor? Burn, the mad chemist. The mad chemist. <laughs> and then this is Exciting. Even if we won't get to use it. Give us a clue though. then. Hey? Give us a clue. What do you think it is? I have no In idea. In a tin. Uh, okay. Uh, resin? I did, I did tell you actually did you? about 10 minutes ago. No, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the bonding doodah, isn't it? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, whatever it's called. Um, free fix? Yeah. Something free like fix. that, wasn't it? Free fix? Yeah, I think so. No, it stinks. So that's what we bond the bolster up with. Yeah, general purpose bonding paste is what it says. Good stuff. Prefix. Prefix. And we've got four little patches here. So this one goes down first, followed by this one, this one, and this one. Not sure if we'll get to this final one. We'll see how it goes down. So Richard's just gonna mix up some polyester resin now and we'll get that done. So that's that little repair done. So we came in with six layers of 450 gram chop strand mat. So we just need to leave that to set up now. Uh, it is obviously still a little bit translucent, but that's just because we need to put the gel coat on the top. We've got a few gel coat repairs to do on the upper deck, so we'll get that done at a later date, but at least now we are weather tight, and that means we can carry on with our balsa repairs. But it has got to the end of the day, unfortunately. Um, we've had a good day getting this all prepared and ground down and the uh, decking up on the side decks. So hope you enjoyed today's video guys. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.